All right. Well, welcome to the second podcast for BF Nations. Thank you, everybody who is watching and or listening. You can do both. It is your choice. So first and foremost, uh, happy holidays to everybody. This is being recorded on the 28th of December. So Christmas has already passed and we are just about to head into the new year. But uh, I hope everybody ha is having a fantastic time. And today, as our guests, we have syrup, maple syrup returning once again and a new guest uh, VIP Ahmad 007 from Dubai. So first and foremost, I'll let Ahmad uh, present himself and talk about what he does for BF Nations. Anything else that he has that he's implicated in uh, for Battlefield Nations or anything else. So Ahmad, it's up to you. Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for the invite first and happy holidays. Uh, glad to be here between you. Uh, first of all, uh, just a quick uh, about me. So, um, in BF Nations, uh, I do the uh, community manager, uh, community stuff for the Middle East, uh, North Africa countries like Egypt, uh, Saudi, Kuwait, Qatar, uh, bringing on some more players, more nations. Uh, currently, there is uh, also uh, this. Uh, uh, should I talk about this uh, tournament? Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, of course, yes. Of course. yes. Okay. Uh, so currently uh, we're planning for a tournament. Uh, we will get some more details. Uh, I can also maybe uh, put some Arabic uh, explanation about it. Uh, it's basically, <laughs> yeah, it's basically about Rush. We will do a tournament. Uh, and now yes. working on a few yes. teams uh, like uh, Qatar, Kuwait, Saudi, hopefully UAE. Uh, registration is on in a few days uh, it will be closed so we can catch up and register ourselves with this tournament uh, for our region uh, also on the other hand uh, we do a lot for apex legends uh, in the other uh, server we do the yes, uh, we, yes. we have done here yeah, last last week last two weeks i think uh, we yeah. did the tournament yeah. right so we had a tournament, quick tournament. It was our first tournament for Apex Legends. Uh, we got private server and we started this tournament. Yes. And yeah, hopefully more to come 2022 for both Battlefield Nations and Apex Legends. Awesome. Amazing. You're doing a lot, bro. You are also in the EA Creator Network. You are also very active on Twitter. You are, yes, you're, you're an amazing part of the community indeed. <laughs> And, <laughs> and you do, and you do, you definitely do. All right. So uh, just talking about the topics real quick at hand for today's podcast. So first and foremost, we're going to talk about the live service of Battlefield 2042 and a little topic of news that the Battlefield 5 concurrent players are surpassing Battlefield 2042. So we're going to delve into that a little bit because I do know a lot of people are asking questions about what is happening here and also what can we expect from battlefield nations in the new year so 2022 is just around the corner so i wanted to talk a little bit about what people can expect from battlefield nations coming into the new year because even myself i'm not all that informed on what is happening with bf nations for 2022 so all right starting off with live service okay so uh, Battlefield 2042 is now the third live service game, I would believe, uh, that DICE are working on. So they had Star Wars Battlefront 2, Battlefield 5 live service, and then Battlefield 2042 is also a live service game. So uh, a very prolific data miner known as Temporial on Twitter uh, released some information about preseason challenges for Battlefield 2042. Uh, coming up all the way up until March. So that would mean that the first season for Battlefield 2042 would technically be, according to him, coming out in March. Now, um, I, I was reading some some opinions on this, and a lot of people are, are seeming to, to say that it is a long time without content. So I wanted to discuss with you guys, what are your opinions and takes on the live service approach for Battlefield games? And should content start coming earlier? Uh, is it good that they, they wait longer? Like, what's your opinions on this live service model? 
Um, I will say first for what's happening with BFN, just watch the announcement, my friend. You will see the roadmap. <laughs> <laughs> I will have time to explain indeed this roadmap. There is three points on it that are pretty fun. So, um, And also for the, the league, I mean, for me first, uh, talking about Temporial, talking about a leaker. Uh, uh, no, it's not a leaker, but uh, I mean, I, I prefer to talk in generally about what people are talking about the upcoming season one, whether it's in March or Mm -hmm. more related about the content i think it's more respectful for the game um so yeah indeed the content may be the content is a concern uh to stay in a c word um the content is a concern for some people but for me i have fun and even since last time for me i say the map were open and all that there's so many maps also in portal and uh, so many ways to play in addition so I hope the mode will stay permanent. I'm kind of trusting the content in S1, but indeed I may understand that the community want to have a, like a lot more map and more weapon, maybe uh, at the same time all happening in March. But I, I'm still happy with, with if we have only like uh, two map and uh, three weapon. I don't know. Uh, yeah. We, yeah, it's also it's also to note that Ripple Effect are working on Portal, so. Uh, you know, we might be getting some remastered maps from past games in Portal. There's no real news on what Ripple Effect are working on right now. So there could be a lot more content being added to Portal in the near future that might not even be planned for Season 1. It could be planned from now up until then. There's like, it, it almost feels like there are three separate modes. So you have Hazard Zone, All Out Warfare, and then Portal. And seeing as it's different teams working on pretty much all the different modes, it is possible that ripple effect don't really have a roadmap for portal and they're just releasing stuff mm. when it's ready so i don't know there could be a lot more content than we would imagine is going to come in s1 for all at warfare um but yeah i can see how some people are concerned i mean one of the biggest things right now is there's not a whole lot of weapons and i, I think that's quite apparent in certain weapon classes most notably like the lmgs there's only two choices so um uh, i don't know uh, it, it, it might what be a little think, bit Ahmad? yeah yeah what do you think Ahmad? um i'm so excited for portal actually um hopefully we're gonna see as you mentioned like uh, previous uh, series battlefield maybe battlefield one i hope so uh, that's my favorite one battlefield 4 uh, metro and those maps coming to portal um and i'm sure like ripple effect they they will have their uh, their uh, their map roadmap for that uh, soon maybe they can announce or they can give some hints uh, about it yeah uh, but that would yeah. be great especially for portal then uh, like i hope rush mode will stay in the game No, that's mm. true. We, no. I think I think we it, wish... it, I think it might be there forever because you, you can slowly see. Oh, oh, we're gonna leave it through the holiday season. <laughs> and then, Everybody's uh, like, keep this. Uh, after after the holiday season, when they come back from vacation, they might say, "Oh, we'll keep it for another two weeks." <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, awesome. I, I've definitely that's probably the mode I've been playing the most. Actually, I, I do I have been enjoying a little bit of a sixty four player uh, breakthrough, but yeah. The only reason I think I enjoy 64 players more is because it runs a little bit better than 128 players. Um, 128 players, for me, it's just, I don't know, I, I can't deal with the frame drops. It, it drives me absolutely mad. The maps are made for 128 players, and, you know, it does feel a lot better playing with m much more players in those maps, but the performance of 128 players is not great so i've been playing mostly 64 players and of course rush rush was my go-to mode in battlefield 4 when i had a full squad of friends oh boy were we some evil people in rush but uh yeah um i i do <laughs> think that they need to really like push as much content into rush as po into portal as possible sorry i, I misspoke um, I also feel as though a lot of the maps from recent battlefields probably wouldn't need that much work to be put into Portal, seeing as it is the same engine, and those maps are so graphically, like, good that they wouldn't really need to remaster them. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, Battlefield 1, the maps still look great to this day. If you go back and play Battlefield 1, the maps still look good enough to not be remastered at all and just throw them in Portal. I don't know how quickly they could do. I'm not a game dev. Um, maybe you guys know a little bit more about that. 
what do you think about the, you're more game dev than me Ahmad. what do you think about the future maps uh, of course like if they want to add any any new map or any old map from other uh, uh, game like battlefield one battlefield four they still have to do some work on the graphics on the they have to test it they have to like mm -hmm. there is a lot of mm -hmm. elements they have to work on uh, to get it ready for 24 for uh, 24 yeah yeah maybe maybe developing something like a community test environment could help them test out the maps at a larger scale uh i don't know like we we saw that the community test environment did for battlefield 4 yeah and also they yeah and they they brought it back in battlefield 1 we had a community test environment in battlefield 1 as well um and i, I think it's 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 a little bit safer for them to release content that might be unfinished or full of bugs in an environment in which people expect there to be bugs rather than releasing a map that might be buggy to the the masses in the game itself so i think something like a community test environment would be uh probably a good thing for battlefield 2042 and would help them you know test these maps and everything at a much larger scale and get way more feedback than just their internal testing i don't know how many qa testers they have uh, how many people they have participating in in play tests inside their their team but i observe uh, that it's the the second time we have a small segment in our podcast when we propose very good idea first one it was the specialist related to certain weapon to create a half road between the old class and the new all open specialist uh system and today we're talking about having a ce back i think man all those idea are great uh yep yeah. Just, I just I approve. and <laughs> I can't imagine that they're getting resource locked by EA with all of the changes they're bringing to the leadership. I can't imagine that they would say no to a project such as the CTE just because it costs a little bit of money. And I think it would really uh, improve the overall reputation of the Battlefield franchise because as of right now, it's kind of on the rocks. It's not. It's it's not that great like you can people can recognize sure you can have fun with the game but the reputation of the battlefield franchise right now is kind of like on thin ice so having something like a cte and allowing players to participate in testing stuff and you know having their feedback heard i think would really do a lot to bolster the reputation of the battlefield franchise and yeah it would show players that they're invested in the franchise and they want to hear feedback uh, and they want to give they want to give the community what they want. I don't know if that makes sense, but what did you say, Ahmad, about it? Sorry. Yeah, I mean, the, like City Eight, it's it's a big help for them to develop the game and to to try out on bigger scale, uh, especially with 128 players. If they want to add a new a new uh, game mode, new uh, new stuff there, it will really help. It will really help. Yeah, I think the battlefield is also in a changing time, but not only about release date or work that has been done on software. The the, the time that we have will go to the history. Um, I think EA I filled the water with their previous. I don't know, but I feel there was a small human side when they say their love letter. They were trying. Yes, it was maybe a PR, as I hear a big content creator says. But I think um, overall there is a big changing time for Battlefield and the change that they made. Battlefield is still Battlefield, in my opinion. Um, but uh, yeah, there is so many things happening with Battlefield. I think they they. This is a particular time for Battlefield, in addition to be in such a position. But also, when we're talking about the position, people seem to love now Battlefield 5, as you said at the beginning. As <laughs> I mean, I yeah, mean, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, which is a yeah, nice, which is a nice segue to our second topic. So <laughs> earlier, er, earlier this week um, on Steam. So this is an indicative of all, across all platforms. We don't have numbers yeah. for Sony Sony consoles. So PlayStation Four Five. We don't have we don't have numbers for Microsoft's consoles. So I don't know what the Xbox names are. Xbox One and Xbox Series X. Ad. Their their naming, their naming is so weird that I don't even know. Anyways, the Xbox consoles. We don't have the the numbers for that. We don't have the numbers from Origin. 
Um, so yeah, there's a lot of information that we don't have, but we what we do have is on Steam, uh, Battlefield Five numbers. Well, their current players uh, for the 24 hour peak did surpass Battlefield 2042 in the past week. Now, I think there was a pretty big sale on Battlefield Five uh in the past week i'm I'm not quite sure there could be some explanation as to why there was such there was a discount in the yeah a, a much larger yeah, yeah so 42 it was free for the weekend previous yeah ex- weekend. yeah ex- exactly yes, plus that's a free true to play plus a discount to buy. yeah 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 it a, but it yeah. could explain like you know let, let's say you're a parent buying your child a video game for christmas and you don't really know much about video games and you're like ah oh, this looks pretty cool and it's on sale i might get this so battlefield 5 was on a much deeper discount than battlefield 2042 so when the parent comes up and he's like oh i could get you know two three games if i buy battlefield 5 which is on a deeper discount than if i bought battlefield 2042 so it could explain that a lot of people got it for christmas as a present from people who know nothing about video games and they thought it looked like a cool game, so they just bought it for somebody. But um, I, I do think a lot of people are playing, still playing Battlefield Five. A lot of people do wait a while before jumping into the new Battlefield title for the simple fact that more often than not, it, it, Battlefield's released with quite a few bugs, so some people kind of like wait a little bit, so so those things are ironed out and they play the past title uh, up until the game is in a much more mm-hmm. uh, polished state. Uh, the one exception probably being Battlefield 1 that came really knocked it out of the park when it came out it, it, it was, it was good. relatively b- the bug free but yeah it probably was, it was probably one of the best releases in terms of polish uh, it, people can criticize the gunplay in that game as much as they want but objectively that game released and it, it functioned like it worked there, there was very few bugs uh, the, the servers were, weren't you know, shit in the bed all the time. Connectivity was good as far as I know. Well, I live in North America, so generally speaking, we don't have much connectivity issues when it comes to servers and availability and all that. But the game released, and I mean, if it, it worked, and God, was it did it look good. That was a beautiful looking uh, game. And uh, you guys saw in the last podcast, I put a little clip of yes. the opening sequence of uh, yes. when you start playing the single player <laughs> campaign. But yeah, it was a really good looking nice game. W- Yes, I was about to see a nice uh, clip that you. I didn't have the chance to. S- I saw it at the. Fa- it was amazing. Nice clip. Yep, yep. Nice clip. I just wanted to say. Um, also, Battlefield One. It it has a big. Um, people were competitively asking about the seriousness about the previous Battlefield Four and all that. The TTK and the TTK was slow in Battlefield One, but they they were back with incursion. So I think mm-hmm. uh, it was a fun ride. Battlefield One overall in uh, both uh, in everything. Um, much love to uh, Battlefield One. It was so unique, also to do World War One. Yeah. So, oh, throwback souvenir about <laughs> Battlefield One today, guys. Okay. Yeah, I, th- I think if they brought, yeah, it's such a, a massively successful game. Really, uh, that game the, really the Easter eggs also were there, and it was really amazing. Uh, like with a group of people going, finding, doing a lot of stuff in general in all Battlefield games, but Battlefield One, it was really like. They they put some more efforts in that I feel. Yeah, yeah. The, there was really some. I, I don't know. Well, a lot of the devs that worked on Battlefield three, four, and one have now left Dice for the most part. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and it, it sucks because a lot of them were senior devs. So it doesn't matter if you're a good dev if you don't have experience uh, with a certain engine. And we all know that in our everyday job. Um, you know, the more experience you have, it doesn't matter how good you are in the beginning, the more experience you have, the better you eventually get at your job. So uh, having a lot of senior devs uh, jump ship and go to other studios is a big hit to the Battlefield franchise because they had so much experience with the franchise, with the engine. So yeah, it, it is quite a loss, but uh, that, yeah, coming back to our, our topic was the, the Battlefield Five concurrent players. And I think that might be explaining why it surpassed Battlefield 2042. But again, I can't stress enough, this isn't the full picture. We don't have numbers from all of the other platforms. Yeah. So no. it, it's, take it with a grain of salt, what we're saying here today. 
Um, but yeah, it was okay to mention it. That was happening around this time. So, and the game just launched one month ago. So, uh, no, no, that's all good. I think though, in the future, we may see. I feel like the previous game, um, and also I, I heard recently that most a lot of game have a lost of player after a short while. Uh, the, but anyway, that doesn't. We're talking about Battlefield here and the game that we love. Uh, also, I, I think there is still love in the game made by the dev. So for me, it's very touchy to when I talk about. I try to man this world of of critique about the the world video game. It's uh, woo um, from from either side, uh, player or um, for what I read. That yeah, I mean I, I'm put there at their place. Sometimes I'm like okay, uh, but yeah, no. Th this is a triple E a triple E studio, and there is a lot of competition in this world. So yeah, seeing the battlefield V player. Uh, it's quite, uh, it may be surprising, but I think, I hope, and I think that Battlefield 42 will, will get uh, better in there. It will, it I'm will. I'm, I'm sure about it. And the good thing with EA and uh, the DICE, the dev team, like they hear, like they, they listen from the community. Uh, yep. Like for the last yep. few few weeks, they are really working hard, uh, fixing bugs, uh, adding a lot of stuff. They are really working hard on that. And uh, I'm sure they're going to be uh, an update soon. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the coming year, uh, hopefully a lot of stuff will be fixed. Yeah, hopefully. So yeah, that's hopefully. the good thing with EA and the devs. So they hear, they work on it. Um, they will fix it. Like all these bugs, all this stuff. Battlefield twenty uh, forty. May people, may people say that the game was is playable now also too. Let's. Uh... Let's, we're, I'm not trying to make it, uh, we need more map, we need more guns and all that we say previously. But, but for me, like I said, I enjoy, honestly, I enjoy a lot the base game around this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's it. Man, I'm not shy about saying that. Um, like I'm gathering uh, content, like the video gameplay for uh, the, the script is written and I'm uh, for the first uh, basic of competitive. And uh, the gameplay is, the base game is super fun, man. So, yeah. And the tournament will be fun for v4, 5v5. People love this also too. So we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there definitely. Yeah, definitely. I, th I think they're also putting a lot of effort on trying to communicate better with the player base with the Battlefield Direct Communication Twitter account. If you guys don't know what that is, uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to go and follow that account. But th they are trying to be transparent and communicate more effectively with the player base about ongoing issues. There's also a, a list of known issues that they made publicly available that you can go and look at and see the, ch the issues that they are actively tracking and working on fixing. Um, so I'll try to find links for all that and leave them in the description down below so you guys can go check it out for yourself. But definitely, uh, if you do find bugs that haven't been mentioned, filing a bug report is always helpful for the devs. Uh, you know, with the amount of code that goes into a video game, uh, changing a decimal somewhere could break something entirely somewhere else. So I, I, sure I can't imagine the amount of complex code that goes into making a video game. So making bug I'm reports. Watching just Portal, the rule that we do, like I said last time, it's already coding and it's only Portal. So yeah. making the game, man, I'm like, okay, the, the guys. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of moving pieces. And I, I don't envy anybody that has to look through thousands and thousands and thousands of lines of codes to find the one thing that's breaking the other thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Okay, so moving on to our final topic for today. So what can we expect from BF Nations in the new year? So we talked a little bit about that when we started the podcast. So we got an upcoming <laughs> tournament in uh, the Middle East from what I I took from earlier, which is... But from... Yeah, yeah, from but not only Middle East, but yeah, Middle East with the Ahmad. Also, next week we may do Ivan Cano, the other community manager that we have. Normally, I will have let you do with the two community manager at the same time, but uh, Ivan Cano will be back the eighth of uh, January officially yeah. for that, so he will be there next week. And after that, we'll go for the ambassador and influencer of each local um, nation, as we said. Um, yeah, so what's coming up? It's the website, but it's the bot. Honestly, Okami is adding buttons everywhere on the bus I saw buttons on the stat bot on all the bots so we're adding buttons uh, the website the website the website the website and, and on the roadmap basically that's really the same thing the website and after that the merch uh, like we had before the t-shirt like uh, mm -hmm. who was the previous one who didn't have even his t-shirt so like uh, in like in the night <laughs> yeah. so, so, you do so I, you see I, I, no, I, I will two. print 44 I, I have two t-shirts what are you guys doing 
<laughs> no, that's so you know just the same thing to put BFN back on track. Also, the content I'm st because again we need to do content walkthrough guides to connect with the tournament or good. It's for more. Should I say a little bit the inner Why, the wider public. The wider uh, yeah, public. No, exactly. The B, the goal of BFN is to make the bridge. I know it's been a while, I, I, but the content, I need to make the script. Uh, I will do the first one I want about the basic. I ask a uh, few few people. I will have the best. Uh, it's super, super, super basic. And after that, we'll go from there. And the more big figure of the competitive world uh, will talk about the other uh, type of content. But yes, BFN, Nation, basically the website, the bot, the buttons, the website, Finish it pushing out. I think we, I'm now I'm starting, uh, even it's taking a while. I think I will get it there only with maybe the blogs, uh, the member uh, feature, and we will add other feature down the road. I'm trying maybe to have the, everything done before launching it. It will be really nice. But uh, yeah, so the but, the website, I'm starting content. I mean, you're doing great podcast, uh, Rogue, and yeah. we will continue at each two weeks. But in addition yeah. to that, yes, in addition to that, uh, we do tournament for, let's the inner circle of the competition as as we say but to reach outside the, the wider audience the the outer circle this is why we do content so yeah but website tournament content uh, merch and after that depending of the 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 pandemic like if we have presence at a real event it was another thing that bfn was doing yeah so with all that uh, and a little sponsor after so it's simple i'm not creating the the, the pentagon v2 <laughs> i don't need the fifty thousand person but uh, we'll get there and I know it looks slow again guys but I'm talking every day I'm not stopping uh, I'm having more and more help down the road I'm learning at each day uh, and I make solid connection the, the best it's the not the best community in the world for nothing so uh, a lot of people are just helping me it's uh, even you today it's again a, it's, a it's a team effort the oh team guys effort. I, I don't know what to say it's uh, there's uh, say going from the advice uh, from the Excel sheet in the future, reaching outside the detail, the tournament, the, the frantic and ISO talking about the rule. I, 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 I can talk about the, the, and I know it's the game is not at, at his apogee, uh, but uh, there's still there's still activity in those sphere of the world. So we will do all of that if that makes sense. Yeah, and uh, t talking about content, like I, I just for myself, I took the podcast as my project for battlefield nations Bro. but if anybody like this is a call to action here if anybody knows any content creator that wants to participate in battlefield nations and wants to uh, make content for the battlefield nations youtube channel for True. you were talking about the blog i i know at some point vic vic boo wrote a lot of the blog oh, posts yeah, if i remember correctly right Dominic and Victoria of fact already told me uh, they want to, to to help me with with uh, to write an article. Yeah, so but if anybody a, wants a to actively participate in the creation of content for Battlefield Nations, we are always looking for more people um, because all of us obviously have our own jobs and possibly our own YouTube channels, our own communities to grow uh, and take care of, so to speak. Uh, so we all, you know, dabble a little bit in Battlefield Nations because we like we enjoy doing that. And uh, yeah, having more content Thanks, creators guys. on board for most notably the YouTube channel, which is what I'm most invested in. Uh, we need people, definitely. It's not a one-man operation. <laughs> I can tell you that much. No, we're not alone, but everybody's doing already a lot. Like, yeah, yeah Ahmad, uh, sorry, you were about to say, you're doing a lot, Ahmad, go ahead. Um, no, I mean, I'm, I'm going to focus now more on the BFN, this rush tournament. Uh, I'm going to push for this. Um, as you mentioned, I just need those uh, more details about the registration, about yeah. the uh, yeah. uh, all these details, so I can just uh, get it in Arabic and uh, forward it to, to the team. It's the same thing, guys. Go in announcement. We're not talking. There's so many uh, channels in BFN. Another revamp is coming up. Uh, but uh, go check in the uh, uh, announcement. Honestly, you will find everything there. I will send you the link in DM. I know you guys have a lot to do. Uh, but uh, I will send you the tournament. I think the tournament link is in the announcement. But I, I will copy paste. Yeah, yeah. Cl click there, bro. In fact, you will see. Um, and uh, Smart told me that he will check for, for uh, a team uh, from Saudi Arabia already on PlayStation. But... Um, 
we may have PC also. Uh, no, Th Thailand cannot play now. They, they said today, I, I, I said to the ambassador earlier that yes, but no. Uh, Israel can play, Brazil can play. Uh, USA say that we, they will have a USA PC roster. So we will start small a little bit with what we have done in Battlefield 5. We start small and we're mm -hmm. getting more and more nations down the road. Um, I understand that gathering to the in the survey people were asking do a tour a big tournament like before. I mean, I, I will, guys. I will finish the website. A lot of organization. The, merge, the, pre the presence at real event when I will be less solid with the foundation of BFN being back onto when it will be. I'm creating a sheet to reach outside organization for sponsor, um, but I will go step by step so there is no price there. Uh, maybe we'll do theme for uh, thing for team in specific nation to have a place in a roster. Uh, a nation roaster because sometimes it makes sense le, I'm having this idea um, the, the, the price for the tournament will be uh, down the road later uh, the, the, the price is a spot at the championship at the end of the year because at the end of the year I would love to have the website the merch uh, a presence at real event if we can and a sponsor for a tournament plus our regular content to say that BFN is really at the same thing that it was since it was started yeah and yeah, if you guys are interested in anything that we just talked about, obviously join the Discord server, go and check out. Uh, there's a ton of things always happening from tournaments to, you know, scrims. I would have to imagine that there's pr probably a lot of scrims going on or private matches that you can participate in. There's a ton of people that want to play Battlefield that might not have people to play with. So in the Discord server, it's a nice way to reach out to people and make new friends to play with on the Battlefield. Uh, because playing with people... Uh, that that you know is always a lot more fun than uh, you know just yeah. jumping into a match by yourself, and I think we can all agree to that. Yeah, the the, the scrim system is uh, also fun. Um, the the tournament will also be short, but we will do another one right after. And uh, big thing, it's a fun project. It's a lot of work. So yeah, when it's I a lot of work thanks. behind the curtains. So the people yes. like Ahmad that are working behind the curtains. It, you know, we might not see what he's doing, but uh, <laughs> it, I guess it, yes, yes, and that's why I want to maybe start a little bit with showing in the podcast all the staff of BF Nation, and then we will go through the influencer. But it, because it's true, I, I hear a comment from a super cool player. He say, "Hey, what's happening?" I feel like, and I'm like, "If you know what I'm doing each day," and, and it's okay. But when and I, 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 we pull out the tournament, uh, and and we say that the, the content is coming up, but we need a script. And after that, I want to do the first one and the website, the website, the website. So it's a lot of work, but be sure we are working on it. And there is quite a few people already thanks to you guys Ahmad we can see that people maybe didn't know even people from BF Nation that more from I don't know USA Canada it's Awesome that we have the chance for me to talk to you, Ahmad, community managers, from your mouth saying what you do for BFN in different parts of the world. So with the website, it will have more uh, sense. What we do, it will be with more exposure. BFN is there on the battlefield, and we're getting there to be uh, as having a serious fun and making uh, all the kids proud of being in our community. And we love the game. <laughs> it's All a right. pleasure to All be right. with you guys it's really a pleasure to work with you with other nations and uh, uh, hopefully Thanks it will be better Thanks than previous uh, uh, games also that's BFN we love the game uh, whatever the game we cannot make the game we're not making the game we're playing the game and uh, talking about all of what we can improve so uh, for fun we, we are the, the, the competitive uh, community I say they are sometimes the most vocal but they're learning how to be very uh, I think the vocal. it depends sometimes like I said at the beginning the comments but no in the, the honestly from what I see uh, more and more we understand the, the, the feeling of people, but we're going to get there, I think, not only with BFN, but with the game itself. So let's, uh, let's, stay, let's stay positive after all. That's the, huh? That's the thing, guys. Yep. We stay positive. Yeah. For Big sure. Big thanks to everyone who are watching. All right. Ahmad, I want, yeah. Thanks again, everyone. I, I want to say it's uh, emotive at the end because we talk about the people that are in BFN. And uh, for Mila, I'm, uh, and sometimes I have so much in one day that I'm just taking a spontaneous moment to say thanks again to every uh, staff there. And, uh, 
uh, that's one of the reasons I want to put you in the po podcast first, so everybody can know a little bit what you do. So yeah, okay. Let's know the, get it. Know the I love you guys. Learn to know the faces behind uh, BFM. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, I know as it a... will make more sense with with the website and content. But we're gonna get there, and it's super good that we're starting to show faces during our podcast. Yeah. So if uh, Mad, you have a couple of closing words before we end today's podcast. I uh, just want to thank you about everything again and again. And uh, sure, this tournament uh, now rush. We're gonna start it very soon. Uh, you will see more uh, more teams you from our region. <laughs> oh, I love and, you. And uh, I love you when you talk about rush. <laughs> That's... And I would imagine the tournament will be streamed on Twitch? Question mark. Uh... YouTube, both. I think both. Right. I don't know. If we, have, if we have, I mean, all players can always stream in first person. Yeah, uh, on their own person personal. Uh, they participate. It, yeah, it, it was never. It will never be. Uh, so that's it. But um, we don't have spectator mode. That's but, that's true. But, that's but, the... but 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 Lycan told me that he may want to try something. Is more, you know, what to do there. I'm like, I will do the graphic when we will have the, the spectator visual. But he yeah. said that he may want to try to do something so who knows we may uh we will keep you updated guys so yeah, there is, there is, there is ways, i think yeah. there is a few ways i can ask, <laughs> you need help. I can ask some of my uh, friends can i think you know uh, you know him uh he's uh Kalman? he's Kalman? uh it's uh ion 7 uh, so he do uh, yeah, captures yeah, he do yeah, a lot yeah. of stuff and uh some of his okay. captures it was used for the official fnb photos and Oh, yes, he's doing a oh, lot of no nice, way. nice capture, nice stuff. So, I know he's helping us in uh, Apex also too. I just want to say, Le Eun, he is also helping in Apex. Um, so, no, no, thanks. I, I like I said, there's so many. I didn't have the chance to talk to him, and I'm talking more to you, Ahmad, when it comes to Middle East, should I say? Uh, and thanks for answering all the time. But uh, no, let, let, let's uh, let's do that for for more. Uh, it's for dual language. There, there's commentator who can speak Arabic and English, like what we have done with the Spanish commentator with Furgor, like what I wanted to do with uh, Spain and France. Dual language will be something that we will talk more together. But, but not in a podcast. We'll yeah, keep in yeah. touch for all the help and <laughs> everything. Thanks again, everyone. Thank all right, all. Thanks, so Amanda. That was amazing. Thanks everybody, uh, this podcast should be coming out on Friday. So Friday is the 30? No, the 31st. So if you're listening to this today, well, Happy New Year. Uh, I hope you had a good vacation if you were on vacation. And hopefully 2022 is looking better as a global situation. So we can finally, yeah, start going to events and actually doing stuff in person. Um, so yeah. shirt on places. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, don't forget to check out the links in the description down below. All the stuff we have talked about in today's podcast will be down there. So uh, the, the, the Discord server, yeah. uh, there'll be, there's links to the, the Twitch your channel for rogue. BFN. Well, I your, think my community row, go check the YouTube of yeah, Rogue. Sorry. Yeah, my, my link should be down there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, everything else that we talked about. So active issues in Battlefield 24 to go and look First at that. Video. Join the Battlefield Nations Discord server if you want to see what's happening within Battlefield Nations. Make some friends. And yeah, so that'll do it for today's podcast. Thank you, everybody, so much for listening and or watching. We appreciate every single one of you. And if you have any topics you would like us to discuss in an upcoming podcast, questions, comments, leave them there. And we might make a a comments part of, of the podcast in the future. So touch on a couple of comments from people or questions that people might have, or even if you guys have topics, as I said, leave them there and they might That's come up in idea. a future podcast. So yeah, it's, it's a community effort and yeah, yeah we want to make it yeah, next video on the, on the basic of competitive uh, coming soon. It will be the presentation of the series about this to reach the, yep. I'm pretty happy. The, the script is written. We need to write the script huh, to make sure that, uh, so it's all written now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all, right, all right. So <laughs> take care, everybody. We'll see you guys in two weeks. So yeah, take care. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Bye everyone.